Stagnation, welcome back to the channel. Champions. The oldest people of America have some information for us. Oh, give it to us. Charlie Monga says the US banks are full of bad commercial property loans. <laughs> oh no, how did that happen? <laughs> Literally, last year, 2022. 2022, 2020, 2021 through 2022, yeah. same person was saying you cannot lose in the real estate space or in the commercial real estate space because America is coming back. Commercial real estate was going to be the big thing. Mm. But now the story has changed. Mm. What happened in one year? I don't know. And did their math change all of a sudden? I don't think the math changed. Yeah. I think what happened. What happened, do you think? Was the exact problem of fiat. Uh, which is that it's based on debt. Uh, People uh, out here taking that COVID money, that free discount money, mm. while uh, before we started increasing interest rates, mm. to start buying flexible rate, uh, flexible rate loans on big commercial properties, and banks letting it go. Mm. Like literally, yes, of course, we'll give you the loan. Yeah. Well, guess what? People ain't going back to the office. Mm. It sounds like the brain do not think two steps ahead. No, no, they never do. Meanwhile, Bitcoiners have been doing this mathematical math for the longest of time. And really, there's this trend that is happening where the economy is kind of going the way most Bitcoiners have been Predicting. discussing it. Yep. You can ignore it all you want, but it's coming through. But before we get into this, I just have a quick question. Because now I'm actually offended for this guy here. Charlie? Yeah. Why did you always refer to him as the sidekick of billionaire Warren Buffett? Why can I, I not just name him in his own right? Hey, I and mean, f- funny enough, it was the one that actually created the uh, Berkshire Hathaway fund, mm. and Warren joined him, but for some for some reason, Warren gets all the credit. They call him sidekick. Mm. I'm a friend there for you, sir. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Charlie Munger has one of a brewing storm in the U.S. commercial property market, <laughs> with American banks full of what were bad loans as property prices fall. I mean, this is not new. Bad loans is what these people do. That's what the banks do. Manipulation is what these people do. 2008 all over again. They will not lose from it either because bad loan design and then extortion from the horrible situation that they have created is their ammo. Mm-hmm. It is their skill. It is almost their guilty pleasure. Holding politicians into this tight situation where they have to now bail out, as they say. Use but really, your tax dollars. <laughs> but who are they bailing out? They're not using our tax dollars. We're just being stolen from straight up. <laughs> you're, it's not our tax dollars you're using. You're just printing money it's because true. we cannot pay this thing back. True okay. That. So if we cannot pay it back, what do you mean by using our tax dollars? You're just extorting money from us to keep us down while you continue to do whatever this madness is. It's entertainment for these people. Is what it seems like. Mm-hmm. Because there is no <laughs> honor, no integrity, and no desire for another person to win by the way these people are doing this thing here. Mm-hmm. It's insane. It's even more insane if you really believe that this is a thing that makes any legitimate sense. Mathematically, this is stupid. It is stupid mathematically. Because you cannot continuously create loans from money that does not exist. Then when things go awry, which I really don't know how the heck is going awry, because you guys are also the same people who are inducing or introducing the issues. When you increase increase these interest rates interest after rates. printing a bunch of... I mean, come on, man. What the heck is going on? This is stupidity at its finest. But they, they, they talk on Bloomberg as if it's normal. Oh, the, all these big technical Listen, terminologies. It's all so this, simple. <laughs> Bloomberg is a fashion show. It's about who has the best suit and who can... You know, articulate things in the most sophisticated way because everything they say does not make sense. It could be different. It could be different. Like the, the increase in oil prices and all of these things, it could be different. It's just that simple. There is an alternative. This is like driving down the road. Mm. Right? And you call your friend and you're like, hey, uh, I'm on this railway track. You should take the train and start driving towards me. And then you're driving on the rail tracks, right? Kind of like towards the train. And you're going, oh no, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> That's the train coming at you. 
What? <laughs> what? Maybe you should not make stupid decisions in the first place. I drive a car on the train track. <laughs> but I think in this situation, what is happening is that they are removed and they put someone on the train track and then they put the other person who should not be on the train track there as well. Mm-hmm. And then they say, oh, no, what are you going to do? Uh, the real estate market is going to crash. Are you going to are you going to are you going to are you going to sell your house and get out? Or are you going to just sit down and wait for it to happen? <laughs> sell out and get out and go where? <laughs> Just stand on the sideline while we buy it all in at the low. After all of you have sold, then we'll start telling you that there's the real estate is at this it's at a an amazing place right now. If you buy into if you get into real estate deal right now, the future is looking extremely bright. After you have sucked all the value out of it. This article itself <laughs> is a proof of that. Whoa. Who gives a heck if this guy thinks that the real estate market is in a bad place or there's bad loans? We already know this. We already know this. We already know that there's bad loans. We already know that these people are not trustworthy. Okay? But by putting this here, it's literally the same thing we're talking about. When you mentioned in that last video that, well, when Warren Buffett goes into positions, then they write an article about it and then after they have made their move. How do we, how can we say this is any different? Intelligent investor. Read the book. You will see what's going on here. Anyway, now that I'm finished with my rant, <laughs> it's a good case. rant. We need some of that. <laughs> Let's look at the situation intricately inside the window of their scam. Double O. Yes. What bro. is happening here? Why is it that? What is inducing this uh, downfall of the market as this guy is predicting? The banks. Yeah. I repeat. The banks, not even the biggest banks like Chase and JP Morgan. Yeah. Blackstone, BlackRock has bought up all the physical, commercial, and regular real estates. Okay. Also, right. They own them, the bottom at the bottom with low interest interest rate loans. Mm-hmm. So if you want people to exit for them to buy more, you could release a media like this to say commercial real estate is getting destroyed. Mm. Fear them out so that they can sell before things get crashed. So they can buy more and control more of those real estates. Ah. Is it kind of like how BlackRock was buying a bunch of uh, properties? I guess, uh, I guess, or is it uh, residential properties? Residential real estate was bought up mostly by uh, commercial and um, uh, bigger bigger institutions. Yeah. The banks themselves, really. Yeah, BlackRock was buying a ton. I remember and the there were bottom articles coming out about it. And the bottom was super cheap interest rate loans. Yeah. Most of those loans were not even flexible. All right. And now? And now that the interest rates are going up, all right. it's ah. a big problem. You might not hear some noise, folks. It's all good. We're going to keep going. Carry on. Yeah. So, the rates are going up. All right. Some of these loans that are not taken by the big institutions are now flexible rate loans, mm. right? And a lot of this, you know, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I'm running the blank on his name now. Who is that? Uh, Cadone. Grant uh, Cadone. Grant Cadone. You know, the brag on, <laughs> brag on national TV. Hey, how does that guy keep making profit when there's a bear market? Because every time I see one of his commercials, he's like, if you're an entrepreneur and you have a thousand dollars right now, oh, no, no, no. Or if you have... Real estate. Or if you have uh, some money to go into this, this is how you're going to make money. I'm like, where is this guy buying his real estate when everyone is suffering? No, because because this is the part they're not telling you. There's an internal circle yeah. where the greatest deal is actually taken or, or absorbed before mm. you and I get to see it. He's part of that circle. He gets access to it. Mm. So people like us or the, the mid-level entrepreneurs that have gone to take a big bite of these flexible rate loans on commercial real estate right. that now have to dump, mm. the big whales get to jump on those first before anybody else does. So while they are jumping on them and stealing them, they are releasing the media to say that it's crashing so that they can buy it cheaper and own more of it. Wow. It's a long-term play. <sighs> I don't know if I have anything else to add to this because it's, it's, that just says it right there. It literally is. So if you're seeing this news, you should know that they are buying. They're buying a lot more. 
That's yeah. basically what that's what it is, and that's what that's one of the reasons why we keep telling folks that no matter how hard you want to play the real estate game, so you don't have the money, you go to the bank, you get a bad loan from the bank, thinking that you can beat the system. The Federal Reserve increases interest rates, so now you're caught up in it because you know they all tell you, oh, take the appreciation from this house, mm. right? You've not paid it off, you're still indebted in that house. <laughs> Double right? leverage yourself, and then go buy another one, and then go buy another one, and then go buy another one. So next thing you know, you have ten properties that is all indebted, but at the same time, the Federal Federal Reserve is increasing interest rates, so. The, the 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 debt on the house, the taxes on the house, the payment on the house goes up. The same Federal Reserve is also trying to kill employment, shut down the government. So now your rentals or the businesses in your proper in, in your commercial properties mm-hmm. or in your uh, residential real estates are also now suffering. So now your tenants maybe cannot pay. The businesses cannot pay. Mm-hmm. So now you that have over leveraged are in serious trouble. But the bigger ones, the big institutions can hold longer. They have the money. They've been stealing for years, so they know what to do. They'll now buy you up. So you think you're winning that game? If you're not a big world, you're going to lose. This is why we say, freaking look at Bitcoin. They cannot do that to you in Bitcoin. It's that simple. Forget about all that stress. You can control the Federal Reserve. SEC for sure is not securing or protecting you. FDIC, forget them. They're not protecting you either. Yeah. That's 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 kind of what it says in the fiat standard there. Yeah, I was I was just I was referencing that to make sure that it's accurate. This is true. This is this is yeah, yeah. It says it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it there as well. Ah, ah, yes, it's a completely fair system. Completely fair system. This is nice. I love that system. I like to I like to participate in that. That is freaking amazing. You can't look win. Ah, oh, look at that. Economic distortions. <laughs> I love it. Listen. I don't know what else to say, man. This is absolutely mind blowing. It's a beautiful thing. I gotta say. Like the fact that these people like configure this whole thing. Oh, it's a beautiful scheme. I gotta give him credit on that one. I cannot even deny it's so elaborate, it's so massive. They do such a great marketing job to bring you into it and take your money. Wouldn't you love to be part of that fairy system? No, um, um, pff, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dave Ramsey will tell you it got wiped out in the real estate market before. Yeah, Robert Kyle Kawasaki will say, Take more loans, the more loans you take, the better it is for you. But you're living a life of mystery of trying to figure out what's going to happen to the market. Well, you know, in, in, a major indebted life. Normal life is boring. You know, life without massive debt is boring. You want to be leveraged up to your eyeballs. Um, that's really when your heart starts beating. Oh, in the name of economic expansion, yeah, whereas yeah, yeah. the expansion is into somebody else's wallet, not yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know what you think in the comments down below. It's definitely been an interesting one. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Here we are. Stack on YouTube, of course. Stack Fin on X and Stack on Spotify. Until next time, let us know in the comments down below if there's anything else you'd like for us to cover. We are more than excited to share our two cents on the situation. Just like how we shared our two sh- our two cents on what is something we shared our two cents on really our single mothers approaching old age that's something we recently shared our two cents on we also shared our two cents on people crying on uh, TikTok <laughs> that was interesting but until next time present out.